in order uh, to make you understand this one, I will kind of explain to you rather than I ask you to just memorize. Okay, basically we learn about the, quad the quadratic formula over here, right? Yeah, the quadratic formula over here, basically all this formula is come up from the, I mean all this less than zero, bigger than zero is come from this formula. All right, so from this quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac is, is called determinant. When we call determinant, means what? Mean the b squared minus 4ac actually decide whether you will get one answer, two answer, or no answer at all. So it's very depend on the b squared minus 4ac. So let's go to the first one first. Let's say we go to the equals to zero. You assume the b squared minus 4ac equals to zero. See what happened. Huh? So the equation will look like this. The equation will be x. It will be x equals to negative b plus minus square root zero over 2a. So you see when plus minus square root zero, the whole thing here becomes zero already, right? So you only got one answer. So you only have one answer, negative b over 2a. It means what? It means if you have one answer, that means the intersection point is only one point. So this is the reason why you will always see some keyword is something like the curve is tangent to the line. Curve is tangent to the line, that means the curve and the line basically they only touch one of it. So it means only touch one point. But of course the confusing part is why the textbook is say two equal root if only touch one point. Okay, basically two equal root is because of the quadratic. Because mathematicians actually believe uh, if you solve the quadratic, you should always get the two answer. Yeah, because x squared what? x squared theory theoretically should always give you two answer. So, therefore, they come out a term called two equal root. But I can give you some idea what's the meaning of two equal root. Two equal root is something like this. If I have x minus 3, x minus 3 equals 0. Of course, this one will give me a quadratic equation. The quadratic equation is x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. If I solve this one, I should get both also x equals to 3. But of course, if in the graph over there, you should know if both also x equals to 3, basically it means only one answer, x equals to 3. So this one means 2 equal root. Both also have the same x answer, called 2 equal root. It's basically, it also means only touch one point. So whenever you see 2 equal root, or you say only intersect at one point, or the question says the curve is tangent to a straight line, or the curve is tangent to the x as it remember it means equals zero because only this formula i make the b square minus 4 is equal to zero you will get one answer only all right this is first idea okay remember this idea huh? so inside the square root zero that means you solve the quadratic formula over here you solve the quadratic formula over here you will only get one answer so therefore it's either two equal root or only intersect one point okay Okay, now what if, what if is less than zero? So let's check it out. So if I use back the same formula over here, a negative b plus minus square root, less than zero, I put any random number, let's say negative two divided by two a. And if you have the calculator with you, you can type square root negative two and the calculator basically will tell you is math error. So because inside the square root, uh, we cannot have the negative value. So if the neg if the b squared minus 4 ac is less than zero, that means I actually insert the negative two inside the square root. And the calculator will tell you is math error. Math error means what? Math error basically means this equation cannot be solved. So cannot be solved basically also means there's no answer for, oh my god, this app is so annoying, I should change to another app. There's no answer for x. So therefore, when b square minus 4ac is negative, which is less than zero, first idea is no real root. But what happened to the graph here? If the, for the graph, if I substitute both equations, either a both curve or one curve, one straight line into each other and I cannot solve the equation means what? Means actually the curve and the line will never intersect each other. 